Hey guys. Um, they have, I was showing you, how, I don't know if you saw the poster at the door, but they actually post the, the shoplifters pictures in the front of the store. <laughs> so, but we're here. It's late. It's great. It's okay. Look at this copper thing. This is cute. What is that? It almost looks like it belongs on an altar though, right? A little too much, a little too much. I hope the stream is good in here. Sometimes some of these stores, the, the stream kind of gets blurred and whatnot. So we'll look around. You guys let me know how it's looking. I just spent the, the oh, this is cute. It's a little shaker, I think. It's got one little hole. I spent the better part of the evening at the mall. It was fantastic. One, I bought me some shoes. Remember I told you I wanted to get some shoes to try to get motivated to go back in the gym. Found some bargains at the mall. R plaid. I found some plaid sneakers. Unbelievable. So cute. And um, I got to see a lot of things as far as the fashion and clothing that are out there. And um, remember I was feeling a little uneasy about my Laura Ashley sleeves. <laughs> well, it's gone full circle, guys. We are back in the 80s. Everything was floral prints like this. And then the puffy sleeves, not only were they, what do you call it, a shoulder pad, but then they even had a ruffle like up here, like a ruffle like that. And then they even had, do you guys remember the rompers? Look at these cute baskets. Do you guys remember? I don't think I ever bought a romper, but they actually had the rompers with the little sailor tie and everything. They're at the mall. What store did I see them at? At Zara. I saw them at Zara. Okay, Longenberger, look at that. There's something inside of it, guys. What is this? It's $9, I may take that. These are so nice. I don't think I've ever found Longenberger here. Okay, this one's seven, but I think originally someone was selling it for 20. I should have gotten a basket. Let me go grab a basket. This, this is heavy, what in the world is in here? Oh, let me go get a basket before somebody beats it and gets it from me. All right, let me go to the front and grab that basket and let me see who's here while I walk up there. And thanks so much for hitting that thumbs up on the way in. Uh-oh, don't like to get children in there. Okay. Don't like to get shots of anybody, really. What is this? A changing table? That's cute. It's got furniture in here. Interesting lamps. It's a great place. Great place for t-shirts, too. Oh my goodness, what are these little trunks? Look how cute. This is that place where they had really expensive Christmas stuff. I mean, super expensive. They were like not even half price from what was marked on the boxes. And then I came back when they finally put them on sale and they were, this is like the last basket. Oh, here's one. And they were broken. So much stuff had broken because it was just sitting around. No one had bought it. It was so expensive. This is a nice little basket. I'll get this one. Okay. Let me see. We have Lisa, Brat Cat. Hey, Swamp Picker. How are you? And Glitzy, Glitzy Hunter, as well as Nora and Mary. Linda, thank you so much, guys. Guillermo, how are you? Jody. Doug, how's it going? This is like... Um, Oh my gosh, that's a noisy basket. I don't have to leave it parked somewhere. Um, this is an awesome thrift store. It really is. Look at the um, collectible glass. But sometimes they overprice that too. What do they want? Oh, they want to. It's not too bad. $10. 15 pieces for $10. Not bad. But some of these have lost their little gilding. Not bad, but a few times, you know, they do try to overprice things. And then, but I like it because they do reduce their things. Let me go grab those Longenberger baskets. Wow, I'm excited about that. I know those sell. Plus they're really cute. I wonder what's in that star one though. I'm not a real um, connoisseur of this brand, but I saw it and I was like, that has to be a Longenberger. Or there's another one called Baskets USA or something that are really expensive too. Hand woven Dresden, Ohio. 
And I know Jude and Callie over at Flippin', Hip Flippin' Mama love the Longenberger basket. That is so pretty, that star one. Okay, so where shall I start? Where shall I? Let me finish looking at the basket, see if there's any more up here, right? Let me see what is up here. Interesting ones. This one's pretty, a little watermelon. Very cool. Maybe they reduced the jewelry finally. I used to find really, really good jewelry here, but then they started pricing like just mediocre pieces for $6 and super worn out. Nothing to write home about, you know? So I even stopped looking at it pretty much. It was just they out priced themselves right out of my market. Okay, there's a little junk monkey. <laughs> no bear. <laughs> and he might just be drinking a cola. I don't know. He's cute though. I like that one. Okay, anything else here? Oh, look at that. Kleenex cover. That's so cute. That's one Kleenex cover I like. I'm normally not a fan of Kleenex covers. Or whatever they're called. Okay. Let's look at the furniture and the funky looking lamps over there. Why does this basket have to make this awful noise? Can you guys hear it? Awful noise. This is like the last minute. They're going to close in about 30 minutes. It's the best time to come in here, in my opinion. You don't have to listen to a lot of crying babies. Okay, let me see. See, the furniture is like really trashy. It's not like it is at the Salvation Army, where the furniture is nice. But sometimes you'll find something cool, like that table. I like that black table. That's kind of cool. That's really interesting. It's a wood table. Nice feet on that. Looks like they painted it. Looks like it had some kind of wood design on it. And they put some black paint on it. There's also usually really good shoes, too, for resale, but I don't do that anymore. I try not to pick up the shoes. They take up too much room. And I'm trying to get rid of the ones that I have right now. I have uh, pretty much a closet full in the garage. Shelves that I built. Okay. Let's see what else is here. Appliances. Sometimes these are good things, too. We have found some good golf clubs and some fishing rods. My son-in-law has found some nice ones. He likes to fish. What else? Oh, those are cute little lanterns. These look really, what do you call it, farmhouse? That new style everybody's using in their homes. Modern farmhouse, I think they call it. Okay. Let's go see the jewelry. Maybe they did put something interesting. And then we'll come back over here. I'm trying not to get any more mugs for now either because I'm running out of room for that too. But I just always take a quick look just in case there's something that I absolutely must have. Then I'll do that. You know, jade light, something. Something might pop out of me. It's a huge store. I think it used to be a grocery store. Oh, that's a nice lamp. That looks kind of mid-century, don't you think? It also looks kind of Halloween. This is glass. That is cute. Fritz. What do you think? I don't know. It's just so different. I've never seen a lamp with that, those colors. Neon yellow and bright orange. That's cool. This is nice too. I love the lamps. They had the most unique lamp at the Goodwill the other day and it was still there. It was actually the Dutch Boy. You know, the, um, I guess, what would, what would you call it? The icon from Benjamin Moore paint? No, Dutch Boy paints. And he's like reaching up and painting. It was the cutest lamp. I should have got it, but it didn't have a lampshade, and I always hesitate when they don't have lampshades. But they are cute. 
All right, let's see how it's popped in real quick. Oops. Adelaide, how are you? Verna, how are you doing? Guys, I am going to have an auction tomorrow after all because I didn't get the help that I wanted to get. I wanted my daughter to help me set up and she had to go out of town. Look, they're just pulling out new stuff. Look at that pile of stuff back there. And she had to go, well, she didn't have to, but she went out of town for a week. So I didn't get to, to get set up. So I will have my auction at uh, 5 p.m. Central tomorrow over on Facebook. These are cute lamps too, guys. And these have their shades. I don't know if they're vintage, but they sure look like it. Don't you think? From the shape, I think that's how they, I think that's the vibe I'm getting from them. Definitely look vintage to me. Okay, let's make our way to the counter before I run out of juice on this telephone. I'm going to leave my basket right there for just a minute because it's making too much noise and nobody's here anyway. They're about to close. Here's some interesting things. Native American, just uh, repops, I'm sure. Okay, there is music going on here, so I'm gonna make it really quick because um, then it'll flag me. For copyright, oh, here's some pretty rings back here. Bracelets, necklaces, but let's see the prices. See, they're like 380, but the jewelry is expensive. I was at the mall, like I said. Oh my gosh. Some of the pieces were like hundreds of dollars. Look at that. Some of these are nice. They were really, really expensive. And I was glad that I went because I was also able to see a lot of different names that I wasn't familiar with. One was Francesca that I saw at Dillard's and Macy's. Aside from seeing Francesca the store. Oh, there's some natural stones right there. Francesca the store that sells clothing. So I run into that a lot when I open jewelry jars. And uh, what was the other one? I think Robert Coyne was another one that I never heard of. So there's so many names that are out there that you know you really should familiarize yourself with when you do this um, hunting for jewelry. Oh, that's interesting with the leaves. Can you guys see that? They're like wood or ceramic. It's a huge statement necklace. Oh, and the statement necklace, I thought it was on its way out, but it's not. That's all I saw, statement necklaces, all over Dillard's and Macy's, all over the mall. And big, bold colors like that, as well as rhinestones and faux turquoise. That almost looks like real turquoise. I gotta ask him. I gotta ask him, let me see that. Okay, wow, they really organized it nicely too. So I'm definitely gonna ask her to let me see that before they close. And uh, brooches here too. See, they're like five bucks, 580. They're a little high for resale for me, but I'll still look around and see. Ooh, look at that cat. That's a cute cat, can you see him? Plus look at all the bags. And occasionally they will have genuine bags here. I have bought a couple of them, but a lot of times they're very worn. They had a couple of Gucci's once. They had some Gucci luggage, but they're very worn for what they're asking for. That's the problem I run into here. They don't have the, um, they don't have the value. They don't hold the value when they're worn like that. But you know, you keep looking because occasionally you will find things that are worthy of picking up for, you know, even $50 or $80 when it's a $2,000 bag. You can definitely resell it at a profit. All right, guys, I'm gonna let you go because they're getting ready to close in about 15 minutes. And I do want her to show me some of the jewelry and um, she's moving things around already, so <laughs> I know they're anxious to get out of here. I'm just gonna go pay for my Longenberger baskets and see if she won't show me some jewelry. So thank you for joining me. If you do come to my auction, it will be at 5 p.m. Central tomorrow on Facebook. I hope to see you there. Have a wonderful weekend, guys. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the excursion. Give it a thumbs up, in or out. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Good night.